Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first ever podcast, the National Sports Podcast. I'm Cameron Simpson, and today I will be joined by, to this side, <laughs> Parker Peel. There he is. Hi. <laughs> there he is, Parker Peel. And uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of sports things, and we're going to try to not take too long. We don't want to, like, waste all your time, guys. So first thing I think we should talk about today on the first podcast is college sports. So we know many college sports lately, Parker, they've been canceling, and, you know, it's been a pain in the butt. Many of us want to see college football and stuff like that, and we just can't watch it because everyone's shutting it all down. And it's again. Oh, sorry. I was saying, what about college sports that they're not allowed to play and stuff, and it's such a pain in the butt. Football is football is a touch sport, so you know how you tackle in it, and some guy can have COVID and pass it on to another, so exactly why they're not doing football. Yeah, I mean, that's basically kind of what I figure, too, but I think it's just – I think these players, my point is these players, some of these players are actually getting tested for the virus and still like um, not being allowed to play. And I think it's, yes, I understand it's a touch sport and it's a pain in the butt because you're touching each other and whatever, but you have so much equipment on. And if your college is getting yourself tested, I don't see why they can't play at this point, because really if you can test for the virus and they're all negative, but I think, you need to test the whole league because what about your opponent and and stuff like that? It becomes a pretty big problem, I think. I think so too. You're absolutely right. Uh, it's different this year. You just gotta hope that the pandemic can be over. Bluetooth off. Sorry, y'all. Hate to be doing that to you. All right. But anyway, yeah, college sports, I agree, I think. That's just what's happening, and it stinks and what goes. And I made a video on this the other day that college sports now need to go through testing and stuff, or the college football teams and everybody. Just it, it stinks. Yeah, it does. Is everything all right on your end? Uh, I, I'll be right back. Uh, I just got to get something that'll help us I'm out. Not, that's no, no problem. But I'll, I'll keep going on my point, too. Let's just think, yes, college sports, they should. I think some college sports, like college football, they can come back. College football can come back. Uh, no, they can't come back. Excuse me, sorry. But what about soccer? We have soccer, which is... The honest, soccer is pretty big contact. So I see some colleges, they're just postponing everything in general. They're like, we can't play this just because we, we can't. We can't play this sport right now because of the fact of we just we can't do it. And it's a problem. We can't do it. Uh, we can't play fall sports. We can't play fall sports. Many sports, too, like football is safe in one regard because it's an indoor sport. And you can play it in all regards. I just think some point of the time that we go and we experience everything and we can't play then we can play and then we can play and then we can't it's just at some point we need to draw the line of what's a safe sport what's a not safe sport why can't we play this sport but we can play this sport and for college some presidents of colleges want to go and play as i did in my my, one of my other videos is some people want to go, some people want to play, other people just want to go out there and do whatever the heck they want and cancel fall sports, and some people want to go out and play and just becomes a problem in its own regard. So, I agree. 
All right. Is that it for this well, one? Well, I'm back. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm, I was going and making sure you're back. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I want to stay on football, Parker. Uh, G Sorry, go right ahead. All right. Uh, nothing. Just All go right. ahead. I want to stay in football here and go to the NFL because we All know you. Yeah, the NFL is kicking off in just a few weeks. And Parker, I know that you're pretty, you like the NFL. You know, I like, you like the NFL. I like the NFL. I think everyone in the world really likes National Football League. But is this time for it to be returned? I really do. Is the, is NFL return safe because they're not using a bubble and we've seen major league baseball i mean look they haven't used a bubble and they've seen outbreaks but they are testing so what is the is their return safe it's i mean mlb has a better advantage of not still different slight chances of getting covid NFL is down lower and MLB is up higher, but it they're still pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. I was I I was thinking though with the NFL is that for them not to be testing, it's just I think it's well, they are tough. Uh, sorry, I'm speaking out of my not the right. I was like, what am I thinking? No, the NFL is testing but for them i think it's just they, they they travel all over the world i mean it's a contact sport i've said this before i'm very shocked that the nfl is back i thought they were gonna not be back but i'm glad they're back i think everyone's glad they're back but i'm shocked i mean i think that the nfl really needs to pick it up I think they need to get their safety going. But I think if the good sense for the NFL is that the Major League Baseball cases are starting to go down again, they're starting to go gradually. The problem for the NFL is Major League Baseball now, as we're going to talk in just a few minutes, is considering doing a bubble. So what's this going to mean for the NFL? And it's just that's, that's my take on it. I think is the return safe? In my mind, I think it's not safe. But is it what they're going to do? It is what they're going to do. And it's – if it's what they want to do, it's what they want to do because, you know, and there some re arenas are even going to have fans. Yeah, I agree, but then at some points I can disagree. It may be, it may be safe in some ways, but like I like you said, it's a contact sport dangerous because of covid they just got a test almost every two weeks and quarantine and all but most of us are really glad that it's just coming back yeah i think everybody is i mean we need some entertainment and sports and all of that we have it now with the nhl the nba and major league baseball but the nfl it's always a great time to have the nfl back all right Let's go to the yeah. next one here. Speaking of the NBA and the NHL, I don't really watch the NBA. I don't know about you, Parker. I just, I'm not, the, I don't watch the NBA, but um, I have watched the NHL and uh, the NBA and the it NHL. Never was. I played a year. Did you, you say you play a year of basketball? Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, I never, I've never been into it. I play hockey, um, so I like the NHL, and the playoffs have been going on here, so I wanted to talk about what our early thoughts, nor, there was supposed to be another person in here, guys. This is not the normal panel. It was supposed to be me, Parker, and another person, but the other person just couldn't make it this weekend, so we had to do it because we wanted to get this out for you guys, but he's a basketball guy. That's why I put this on here. I think the NBA playoffs are going pretty good. I mean, they, they paused for a while, so did the NHL, but think they're going good. I think the NHL playoffs, the Bruins are not doing good, and we'll see that when we get to the buzz, <laughs> which is going to be interesting. That's the first time we're going to do that. But I think the NHL playoffs, they're going okay. Um, teams are really competing. It's almost the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference Finals. We're getting closer to seeing who's going to win the Stanley Cup. And I think it's awesome. I, I love it. I love the playoffs. I love when the playoffs are here. Yep. 
I want to. I'm not a big basketball guy. Like, I'll watch it if it's the only thing on. I don't get much of the rules. It's all confusing. Yeah. Thing is out there. It just they're probably really happy that it's all back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like as a hockey fan, I'm happy it's back, but I'm not a basketball fan, so I I could care less if basketball wasn't a thing. And the same thing with me is when there's a foul and. Okay. Like, I don't understand the fouls. I don't understand the, the you know, I just don't understand it. And But if I did understand it, which I try my hardest to understand it since I kind of report on it, but it's just tough for me to understand. Um, so let's go to your sport, Parker. You ready? Yeah. So as I touched on just a little bit earlier, Major League Baseball has announced that they're looking to do a playoff bubble, but many people are not happy about that, including New York Yankees star Aaron Judge, so let's uh, talk about. What are your thoughts? It's weird. I don't like the bubble. I think they're all doing fine with it right now. There may be a couple outbreaks, but other than that, it's all good. Yeah. See, my thing with the bubble is Major League Baseball, they're testing, and they've already done it, so they're not doing the bubble. I think, though, for Aaron Judge, I don't know about what you think about this point, but Aaron Judge said this, and I found this interesting. He said, we start off, this is basically what he said. I'm not quoting him or anything. But he said, we start off with doing this, where we do games and games and games, and it's the regular season, and we're playing games so we can get home field advantage. But if we go to a bubble, we don't get home field advantage. And I found that interesting because – the NFL and the, the NHL and the NBA and major uh, no NHL and NBA they competed for the regular season, but they just went right into the bubble because it's really the only choice they had. I thought to do it right, but Major League Baseball didn't go to the bubble route, which was very looked at negatively. So, what do you think of Aaron Judge's point too? I I kind of found that weird. Some guys may be scared of it. They, they want to keep playing baseball. Then they don't because, like you said, there's COVID around and there's always outbreaks. It's, it's a bad thing to have sports go going on and this to get going. COVID's just a bad thing. And as people keep saying, our medical officials, they keep saying it's only going to get worse as the winter goes away. But luckily for Major League Baseball, they're really a summer sport. They end in October. So I don't see a reason for them to have to go to the bubble. But the commissioners already said they're looking for California or Texas as the bubble locations. I think he wants to do it because I think it's just the safe route for Major League Baseball just to take it. But look, how many players actually want to be in a bubble? We saw Tuka Rask opt out of being in the bubble. We've seen NBA stars have to leave the bubble and not come back. We've seen many people not want to be in the bubbles. And I think we could see the same route with Major League. Don't like the bubbles. They want to play the sport without any distraction type things. And I, it's a matter of time before a lot of it gets canceled to like to harass, like want to get in all this mess. So my, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I, I think you're right about it's going to turn for the worst soon. I mean, I, I found this interesting too. And I thought maybe at the end, we're going to do a quick little debate, but I found this interesting guys. That NBA and NHL, normally their season starts, like, next week. Like, their regular season begins soon, like preseason games. But they have – they postpone that all the way to December. So, December, are they, they going to play in a bubble? Like, there's so many questions of the bubble. Are the NHL and NBA going to go back to their bubbles? Or are they going to play regularly in flu season and when the coronavirus is expected to just go worse than it's ever been? Um, it's just going to get worse and worse. Uh, it, and more things are going to be postponed as more outbreaks go on and on. Um, it's just going to postpone everywhere. Yeah. When is NBA 
Um, sorry, Parker, you just cut out a little bit. Did you say when does the NBA season supposed to start? Uh, end. End. Um, I don't know. I think they're just beginning the playoffs. So I, begin, I assume it will begin end of September. Um, the NHL. I'm guessing October. Yeah, I would say October, end of September, around Halloween, because it all depends on, like, if there's a game sevens, you know, um, around there. So I think it would end around October, maybe around Halloween-ish. But the NHL season, I think, is scheduled because they started three weeks earlier than the NBA's playoffs. I think they're slated to end at the end of September, but that also could change if there's a game seven, you know. Two weeks for each series is normal with game sevens and stuff. But they're near in the end. So I would say the end of the month, October, we see everybody end. Yeah. Okay. It, Go ahead. It, yeah, I'm getting right there. Okay. Well, let's go to another thing in Major League Baseball. Parker, I'm not sure on this, but did the trade deadline end yet, or is it still going? The water? The trade deadline? I don't know if it ended or not. I think it was, like, next but week. I do know that... Yeah, probably. I was gonna think I was gonna talk about it, but really, I think many of the teams right now aren't looking to trade. I think the Red Sox is the only one I know that really should be looking to trade, but I don't know. Yeah, their pitching has sucked, and after a while, their hitting just got terrible and terrible. Yeah, they get one a couple good hits a a, a day. We're almost done the show, guys, so I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, make sure to put that stuff in the comments. Put a like button on this because me and Parker and the other guy who was supposed to be here, his name is Nicholas, we all have fun, but we all will have some fun doing this. But first off, this is my – I think this is going to end up being everyone's favorite segment. It is called The Buzz, and I want to just tell you what The Buzz is. Uh, I picked an art, I picked like a little story that I want to just say really fast. I don't know, Parker, did you pick out a little story? Or something you want to talk about? Just that my favorite pitcher, Chris Sale, he's out of the season for this season because of an injury. So it's yeah. all – I'm just mad about that. Maybe our pitching could have gone better. Yep. Well, Not my – yeah, I, I, I totally agree with you on that. And my thing for the buzz today is the Lightning versus the Boston Bruins. I know we're sticking with Boston teams, but as you can see in my background, I'm sorry, y'all. But the Lightning have been kicking butt in this series. The Boston Bruins lost 3-1 to one the other day. They need to win the rest of the games or they're out of the playoffs and will no longer advance. So the regular season finale, I think is this is just such a concern that after getting blown out 7-2, to I think it was seven to one the other night and three to one this time the lightning are on fire i've i made my prediction before that i think the lightning were going to win this series i had a feeling i hoping that the boston bruins can come back and win every single game which is very tough in the national hockey league especially with the team as good as the lightning so i just wanted to let you all know that the nhl playoffs are just going awesome but that's it for me in the buzz all right I love, I love the buzz. The buzz. We need like a B going across the screen. <laughs> the buzz. Final thing of today is I thought we'd have some fun on this podcast because I know many of you are sitting there and you are enjoying it. You are love enjoying to our, I hope you are enjoying listening to our opinions on the sport and world this week with all of our topics because I'm sitting here with my notes, like reading off of them. But the final thing of today is I made a video on this for my 50s video. Parker, I don't know if you saw it, but what's the best bubble you think out of the two bubbles? Have you seen the NBA bubble or uh, I can see if I can show some pictures? No, I haven't seen the bubble. Yeah, well, you've seen the NHL bubble, right? Somewhat. I haven't. 
Yeah, all right. Well, we're going to post some pictures on the screen anyway, because I think a lot of people may or may not have. But if you haven't seen my video, guys, go check it out, because it's pretty interesting, I think, about the bubbles, because I have fun making it. But the NHL bubble basically has the cardboard thins in the back, you know, and it was pretty cool. Um, at least I think it was pretty decent. Um, we're going to show, I'm going to show you those now. I'm going to my Google going real fast, going NHL bubble, NHL bubble, because... <laughs> Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right, here we go. My screen is now going to be shared. You guys can see up here. Tell me, you guys can see this all right? So this is kind of the NHL bubble. Yeah, yeah, like. I can see it now. Yeah, if you guys can see over here, I don't know. But this is kind of what it looks like. You can see up here, they made these screens kind of, which are really, all, I like the screens, where they put the Oilers and well, it's not always Oilers. They're already out of the playoffs, but this is an old photo, of course, where they kind of do all that. Here's another really good look of it where you can see they're on the cardboard cutouts right down there in the blue. There's two bubbles, one in Toronto, one in Edmonton. They're going to play the remainder of the games in Edmonton after this round. Pretty cool. Here's another real good one. And uh, you can see right there. It, I really like the way the bubble looks in the NHL. And here's one thing I found funny. The wave is strictly prohibited at today's game. <laughs> so let's go. Now let's, I think we should look at the NBA bubble. And then, Parker, just give me your opinion, so of what you think is better. Because I already made my thing. I think the NHL bubble is just better barely because of the way the NBA does the fans in the background, which I don't like. That's the only reason I said Hang on. No problem. I'll wait. Yeah, you guys, they can see they have the uh, stuff up here. <laughs> really cool for the NBA. They have the whole new game. That's kind of like their motto. As I said, them being in Disney World, it's pretty cool for them. So I think it was pretty decent for them to be in Disney. I think it's cool, but, you know, I, I gave the NHL. I gave the NHL the benefit of the doubt and made them my favorite. This is a better photo. You can see a whole new game. This is where the press normally sits. And sorry, guys. All my notifications because I went on Google decided to go din 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 din. So sorry about that. But it's kind of cool up there. It says, "Hey, I'm back." Yeah. All right. So anyway, as I was saying, it's like the whole new. Oh, sorry. I hit the wrong thing. It says the whole new game up here and everything. Uh, you got the scoreboard. This is kind of what the main thing of the bubble looks like. I want to show you what they do with the fans, which you might find cool. Um, which the fans aren't allowed in the stands, but I think they, I don't like it that much. What they did, because it can become distracting. This is the fans right here. So this is a virtual screen behind all the players. And all the fans are just sitting there on like a giant Zoom call doing everything. I don't know about you, Parker, but I, could, I, I found that distracting when I watched one of the games. I mean, it, I asked my dad before watching it. They just so showed cutouts and stuff. They weren't actual guys there just watching it. So now I know this is a new thing. It, it can be a distraction, bad things. Uh, but other than that, they, they have the host should kick them out if they're being attractive to the players. And right. The host should be one of the NBA owners or something like that. Yeah, like an official. So, yeah, that's why I, mm -hmm. I, I saw Major League Baseball, how they had the cutouts. I thought that was awesome because it's kind of like a video game because when you go in the, like, you know, you go to a game where there's, like, fans and you have the little, it looks like little cutouts in the corner. So, I thought, so after all in all, Parker, which one do you yeah. think I'm going to go with NHL. Yeah, that's why I went. I think it just had the – I like the uh, LED screens in the background and the cutouts and everything. Yep. Okay. Parker, thank you so much for joining us today. He'll be back whenever we do the next podcast. We try to do something like every two weeks, maybe a weekly thing. We'll try our hardest to keep you guys updated. It was a pain in the butt to get this one because everyone has so many different schedules, especially with – everyone's busiest time of year coming up with school and everything. So. 
my baseball season just ended, so we had a tough loss, and so now we can do it weekly. Yeah. I don't have games every day anymore, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll make sure to keep it up. And mm -hmm. me and Parker are doing hybrid learning this year, and we're both on the same cohorts, so we both have the same days out of school and in school, so we'll be able to uh, do something like that as well. Because I think we have every Wednesday off or something. Or Friday? I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. Hybrid learning, you all. If you guys are down in the south. Something and you're going, like that. Yeah, if you guys are down in the south and you're going back to work, I'm not back to work now, back to school. Uh, for once in my life, I kind of would rather go back to school. I hate school, but I kind of rather go back because I don't learn anything from remote. And remote sometimes is a pain. But up here in the north, a lot of us are hybrid and uh, or remote. Uh, Parker, thank you so much today. Thank you for having me. Yeah. See you later, guys. Hopefully Maybe next we can get my camera going. <laughs> no, I was in this. Hopefully we can get his camera to work. We'll, we'll try. Thanks. Yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a fabulous day, and we'll see you next time.